Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an Accutane update. I wasn't gonna make a video like this, but I had a lot of requests, so I figured I would just do it again. I just didn't know if it was gonna be boring for you guys to see like my update, but no problem, I'm doing it for you guys. Um, so first things first, as you guys know, if you guys have been watching my Accutane updates or my Accutane videos, you will know that I am not wearing any makeup. Um, that's my biggest thing when I'm making these videos. I, guess I want you guys to see the progression of my skin and all of that throughout all my videos, so you know the drill, no makeup. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Abby. I make videos on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, mom life, Accutane, all of that stuff. So if you are interested, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And also click that notification bell if you wanna get notified when I make new videos. And welcome to the family, our little family that we have. So, all right, without further ado, Let's get started. So just a little quick side note. I'm not filming with um, any lights right now just because I'm not feeling well. I'm pretty sure I have a fever. I got a cold. My kids are in school. This is the second week of school. We've already all gotten sick. So now of course I'm the last one to get it because this is how it is. And I'm just like too tired to set up the box lights and all of that. So I am sitting in front of a giant window and hoping that the sun will still stay out. So if you see any fluctuations in light, that's why. Sorry, I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. All right, so I've been off of it, I wanna say like two and a half months, maybe even getting closer to the three month period, only because that last month I was really wishy-washy taking it. I was like very bad at, like I was missing a lot of pills, all that kind of thing. Um, and so far guys, my skin, I mean, as you can see, has still stayed clear. Um, I'm trying to think if I've gotten any pimples or anything, and honestly, I don't think I have. I think the most that I've gotten is like that slight imperfection in my skin, like something that like you wouldn't see, you know, like if you're just talking to me normally, but I would notice because like maybe I'm in the mirror doing my makeup and I see maybe a clogged pore or a blackhead or something like that, but that's it. That is all that I've gotten. Um, in like almost three months, which is insane to me to even like fathom that as someone who's woken up with pimples every single day, like a new batch of friends every single day. So it's like very new to me. Um, but honestly, I've got like, I wouldn't lie to you guys. I'm telling you the truth. I do not even wear makeup during the week. I'm just being completely honest. Like during the week, I don't wear makeup. Like I just feel like I don't need to. I just do my sunscreen. I just walk out the door and that's it. Like I'm, I'm happy with the way that my skin is. As far as any symptoms, all the symptoms that I had during like my side effects during Accutane have definitely completely subsided. Accutane is completely out of my system, which you know, I'm 100% sure at this point. So I haven't had any, I experienced eczema during Accutane. If you've watched my videos, you'll know. All of that's gone, I haven't had any issues with that. My skin now is like, if you guys wanna know, like what is your skin? after is it oily is it normal is it what is it? is it dry honestly my skin before accutane was dry i would say i had like dry sensitive skin um many many years ago i had a very oily skin it kind of turned dry and then being on accutane obviously it was like really dry now being almost three months off of accutane my skin is like normal like you always hear the different you know skin types normal combo oily dry all of that and you're like who has like totally normal skin and like what is totally normal skin Oh my gosh, guys, I can tell you right now, I have totally normal skin. I don't get oily, I don't get too dry, I am just totally, literally normal. Like, it's just totally well balanced. And I wasn't sure if that was gonna happen after Accutane. I didn't know if maybe, like, I would, like, be drier or something off of Accutane. That's kind of what I assumed. And honestly, I have totally normal skin, like I said. Um, I still moisturize, I still do my regular skincare routine and that kind of thing. But I am just so impressed with, like, where my skin is at. Um, I know my biggest concern on my last video, I wanna say, was pigmentation. And I still haven't done anything about it. And let me tell you why, because I really wanna make sure that my skin has had enough of a break. And I think that's really important for those of you thinking about starting Accutane or are on Accutane or just about finishing Accutane. Um, give yourself a break, because I know the next thing you wanna do, I know for me, I was like, I wanna tackle the next big you know, thing for my skin. I wanna get it perfect. But um, my dermatologist said, definitely just wait. And I decided to even wait a little bit longer before going into any retinol or, you know, glycolic or any, any treatments at all on my skin. I've had nothing done other than your regular basic moisturizer, or face wash and moisturizer and sunscreen. And that's it. So, but I will say that my pigmentation, I'll zoom in in a second to show you guys like my skin and all that. Pigmentation that I have now has gotten so much better. Even if you go back and look at my last Accutane video and you'll see that I have no makeup there, you can see like where my face is at and all that. 
you can see that I have more pigmentation compared to even now. On its own, my skin has had a chance to totally heal. Think about it, when you're constantly getting pimples, then you get pigmentation, and then your skin doesn't have a chance to heal because it's like, oh, you got your new batch of, of pimples and your breakout, and it's just like this constant roller coaster of getting new breakouts, getting new breakouts. So your skin doesn't have a chance to like heal properly for the cells to turn over, for all of that to just heal. And so um, now that I haven't had pimples or breakouts or anything like that for almost three months, my skin has had the opportunity to heal on its own and get rid of some of that pigmentation. Now, I still have pigmentation that I wanna work on. I'm assuming they're a little bit deeper. Um, that's why they haven't totally gone away, but I'm sure with some different treatments that I'm gonna start trying, and, and don't worry guys, I will be making videos on all this, on skincare and all of that for you guys, um, especially since I know you guys have been following me during my journey, and I know some of you guys are on, on your journey as well, so I want us to do this together. Um, but yeah, I just honestly, it's healed so much on its own and I am just impressed in that fact alone. Like even just that, it's like, wow, like not only do I not have acne anymore, but like my post acne pigmentation has been healing on its own and kind of like going away on its own. I think that's awesome. And I feel like I've given my skin enough of a break to like really just heal and where I'm not gonna feel so bad, like going in with like stronger products or retinol or whatever, you know what I mean? Like now I feel like my skin's back to some sort of normal state my body's back to a normal state, so I don't feel bad about, you know, doing some treatments and stuff like that. Eczema's gone, dry lips gone, other than these random dry lips that I just randomly get. One thing that I really, really miss, and you guys know um, from watching my videos, my hair was really dry, and not in a bad way. I mean dry, like, in a way that, like, I didn't have to wash my hair for like two weeks and I could honestly go longer. I just figured like two weeks was a good time to wash your hair, but like it wouldn't get oily. Like it was just totally fine the whole time. That has gone away and I'm so sad about that. If there's one thing I miss being on Accutane, if there's anything, like if you could miss anything, it's literally that, that like now my hair's back to that normal cycle where like every third day I have to wash it or every fourth day maybe, you know, like it's getting back to its oily, you know, semi-oily self and I'm just kind of like meh. Not super happy about that, but I will take it knowing I have clear skin. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing or that I'm you know, forgetting about. If you're newer to my channel, I have a whole Accutane series. I will link it down below and you can just go through all there. That explains how many milligrams I was taking, um, how many times a day, how for how long, all of that. I basically stood exactly timely to my treatment plan. So she said four months and that's exactly what I did. Four months and I was totally fine. And even that last month, like I said, I was a little bit wishy-washy with like taking the pills and all that. I was just, I just kind of got bad with it because we were moving and I was like missing pills, but my skin was doing great. And I'm just so, so impressed at where it's at. And honestly, if I had to do it again, I would. Like I know without a shadow of a doubt, like I would do it again because it literally was so worth it. Now I can't say that for everyone else. My reaction might be different than maybe your reaction or your side effects. So of course, talk to your dermatologist. If you're at the point where you feel like I need to start Accutane, or obviously if you're already on Accutane, then you know the drill. But you know, if you guys are struggling with acne and are thinking about starting Accutane, definitely, it was scary for me because I heard so many bad things, but know that it's not always bad. That's kind of what I'm trying to get at. It's not always bad. In fact, I hear a lot of really positive reports being on Accutane. So think about that. Like I said, everybody's body reacts differently, so keep that in mind as well. And exhaust every possible effort on your skin. Try everything before you go on Accutane, everything that you can. Once you realize nothing works, that's when you know you're probably ready to start something a little bit stronger. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in, show you my face, all of that jazz. So I'm so stuffy, I'm sure you guys hear it like I sound weird. Whew. Uh, my kids are at school, so I can do this now. Ooh, exciting. All right, um, so yeah, I'm just zooming you in. Um, if you guys, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I did a zoom in last time, but yeah, I had a lot of pigmentation here because this is really where I broke out the most. And I've got nothing. I think I have like a slight imperfection here, which is probably like a blackhead or something. I am about to start my period in like a week. And I always break out around that time. Literally, I haven't had no breakouts being on my period. Like that's... That's an accomplishment. This is where I have the most pigmentation as well, and it's really subsided. And I'm not wearing anything, guys, like totally bare skinned right now. So yeah. 
We were up close and personal. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know where you're at in your Accutane journey. I haven't heard from a lot of you guys. I've had a crazy, crazy past few months moving in a lot of health issues. And, you know, I think I might make a video on that later so you guys can kind of know a little bit more about what's been going on. Um, but it's been hard. It's been a hard past few months, but I'm not going to give up. Like, I'm not going to give up at all. We're doing this. I want to do my videos. I miss talking with you guys. I miss making these videos and like hearing your feedback and all of that and just sharing some fun stuff with you guys. So anyways, like I said, let me know in the comments down below where you're at in your skincare journey or your Accutane journey. I would love to hear it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, click the like button if you like this video and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys and have a good day. Bye. About to leave. Already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away.